public service announcement to all old COD veterans. It's time to come out of retirement. We've got some good news. We are less than 12 hours away from the official Black Ops 6 reveal. Now that's not even the good news. If you haven't been keeping up to date over the past couple days, there's been talks of some massive features coming to Black Ops 6. We need to get into this. Let's go. So, a lot of these leaks are coming from a guy on Twitter at Bob Network UK. Now, personally, I don't even know this guy. I did not know anything about him. Now, you might be asking, Bobby, what the heck? Why are you taking your information from this random dude on the internet, old mate Bob? Well, it turns out Bob might be onto something because Charlie Intel has actually been retweeting or I guess referencing Bob when it comes to the leaks that have been going around from him. Chances are you guys probably would have heard of Charlie Intel or you might know uh, his Twitter account. But basically, he's seen as a very credible source when it comes to new information about upcoming games. So that is a good sign. That's a tick. So yeah, while these could just be rumors or fake leaks, it looks like they might have some merit to them, but we don't know for sure. But with that out of the way, let's get into what these leaks actually are. The first one is news that we will be getting theater mode coming back. So if you guys played Black Ops 2, I would hope you would have. Theater mode was a really cool mode you could basically use to capture in-game footage and kind of like make cinematic shots or videos out of. It let us be quite creative with some of the clips you could make. But there was an issue with theater mode. Some of you guys probably remember, theater mode was basically a way for modders or hackers to actually share their like mod menus and stuff to just anyone. So even if you didn't have like a modded Xbox 360 or PS3, you could still access a mod menu on this game. And that was just from people that did have mods and did have modded consoles, basically recording their games and they could actually transfer you the mod menu through you watching the clip. So obviously this is quite a big problem. So after Microsoft bought Activision, I think it was, this was when they actually disabled theater mode completely. Cause not only could you just share mods with people through theater, theater mode, but after Microsoft bought Activision, I think theater mode just completely didn't work anymore. You couldn't even like load up people's clips and stuff. So they fully disabled it. Now I think they've fixed it, it's up and running. So if theater mode is coming to Black Ops 6, they will want to make sure it's fully polished and it isn't buggy and it doesn't have any issues like this. Obviously, I don't think they would have any issues in terms of like sharing mods and stuff because, you know, current gen, you can't really mod it or anything like you could on the old gen consoles like 360, PS3. Those were really easy to mod and mods would just go around like crazy. So I don't think they'll have this issue, but at the very least, they'll wanna make sure that all those bugs will be ironed out so that it does work properly. And if we do get theater mode, that'd be pretty cool. But not as cool as the next leak I'm gonna talk about, and that is Black Ops 6 returning to the old classic prestige system. This is something I've been wanting for a long time, and I think most of you guys have been as well. And that's just the classic system where you get to level 55, your prestige and you repeat and you do that all the way up until whatever prestige master and then you're done it's just simple it's straightforward and i think where they really screwed this up was it started on i think it was black ops cold war and i remember when the new season or whatever would change if you hadn't yet prestiged you get reset to zero and that was so annoying so let's say you're like i don't know level 50 or you're level 52 you're close to level 55 but the the new season starts or whatever the battle pass ends it basically puts you back to zero it's like what's the point in that it's so dumb so it resets you but it looks like we are going back to the roots and if so i'm happy i am very happy with that this next leak might not sound like it's a major one but i would say it is and that is the new ui so i think it was either modern warfare or modern warfare 2 like the later releases they just completely changed the UI to the point where it was just so stupid. It was not practical, it was not simple. <laughs> like, you basically needed a tutorial to get to campaign. It was like, how do I even navigate around this menu? And apparently, what happened was, Call of Duty hired people that worked at Hulu or something. I think it was Hulu. The people, like the streaming service, right? For shows and stuff. They hired people that worked at Hulu, making the UI for that, to design COD's UI. 
and it's like what are you thinking it's not the same it, this is a game it's not a streaming platform so it makes sense for hulu right you're cycling through multiple shows whatever but on cod it's a game where it's like you shouldn't have to be cycling through so many different areas of the screen to get to what you're trying to do i think we can all agree the old system on black ops 2 black ops 3 or the, those older cods it was it was straightforward everyone knew where stuff was and especially because of the fact that it was the same over each cod that made it even more like easy to understand because we'd been used to it for so long and then now with these later versions of cods they've just completely switched it to it's just so confusing so that's yeah another leak that's going around is that the ui is going to be reverted back to like how it was kind of in black ops 2 in fact rumors are saying it might even be better but i don't i don't really know how do you define better like <laughs> how would it be better than black ops 2 that was pretty like peak ui that was the peak of how good the ui got so i don't know that's a, a another rumor going around again it doesn't sound like a big one but honestly it, it kind of is if we if we can get that i'll be i'll be pretty happy with that too i've saved the best till last we've got two last leaks to discuss and they're big one of them is that we're going to be getting two round based maps for zombies on the launch of black ops 6. now this isn't actually really like new per se in terms of news we've kind of known this for a while but it hasn't really been touched on that much but the leaks going around now kind of just confirm that more so obviously charlie intel and the other guy of bob network uk old bob the mad dog basically was saying how yeah it is confirmed we will be getting two round based maps on launch for zombies which is awesome this is probably the one i'm excited for the most i'm definitely like a zombies player at heart i really love zombies especially black ops 3 zombies i've said this before that was my favorite game for zombies black ops 2 as well was good fun absolutely loved it and the more recent versions of zombies i haven't even touched i have not touched modern warfare zombies i think i played it once because it was free like a free trial weekend i am not buying that not a chance but yeah just go back to your roots man round based is what the people want and everyone's got this opinion like if you don't think if you don't think that round base should come back you need some help stop it get some help and in terms of like the maps that are coming on launch obviously we don't know for a fact what these will be there have been some reports going around over the past couple months as well that it's going to be one is going to be like an island map now this actually makes sense because the ending of cold war the last zombies map the kind of ending cutscene hinted at an island as the next kind of step for the next black ops game so that makes sense we probably will be getting an island map as one of the round based maps now it is very vague like well that doesn't really tell us much does it the other map we are also reportedly getting is like a town or city map as well again really vague we don't know for a fact if it's true but again yeah it's, it's something either way i don't really care what the maps are i just hope that they're round based i hope that round based is going to be the full focus of black ops 6 because i will enjoy the game a lot more if it is i don't i mean outbreaks all right but i definitely don't want anything like modern warfare zombies that was just so lazy dmz remastered well not even remastered reskinned with just zombies added in okay this last leak if this last leak i'm mentioning is true holy this will change cod forever like this is this is nuts if it's actually true and that is omnidirectional movement so yeah it sounds really weird i didn't know what it meant at first but basically it means you can sprint and you can dolphin dive in any direction so cod has always been you sprint forward you can only sprint forwards you know but now you'll have the ability to sprint backwards like sideways kind of thing and dolphin dive backwards and sideways but yeah just think about all the possibilities this will open up for like combat you know and multiplayer specifically maybe zombies as well but we did see sliding is officially back for sure and it sounds like yeah we're getting dolphin diving back as well yeah so this will definitely be a big game changer for the movement system and yeah i don't know how it's gonna work but if it is the case i'm very excited to see it now this leads me on to my predictions for the official black ops 6 reveal that we've got literally right around the corner my predictions let's get into it 
first off i think we are going to see gameplay for sure i'm not sure if we're going to get gameplay for like every game mode i hope we do but i think at the very least we're definitely going to get campaign gameplay like i think that's a bit of a reoccurring theme with cod when they do early kind of reveals it's at least campaign gameplay also i should think they'll give us something like for zombies in multiplayer like with zombies we got two frames of like that girl sliding that was it and then i don't think we've no we haven't had anything for multiplayer so they got to give us something like it's the big reveal they've been marketing like crazy if if they didn't show us any kind of gameplay for zombies in multiplayer that would be pretty crazy i reckon so i think we're going to get gameplay of every game mode probably more so campaign or if not gameplay probably like a trailer maybe next up i predict that we're going to get a bit of like an insight into some of the new features we'll be getting if we are getting some of those new features like i talked about with the leaks and stuff like omnidirectional movement i think they're definitely going to show us a bit of that in the reveal as well if it's new like that'll get the people going that'll build up so much hype for the game so i think they'll also be showing off some of that stuff now lastly my last prediction for the reveal i think we're gonna see all the old cards come to game pass i think they're gonna announce this probably in the xbox reveal which is directly prior to the black ops 6 reveal so they've got the xbox showcase first and i think probably in that one is when they'll announce that all the old cards will come to game pass now why do i think this well i think this because i actually made a separate video about this but xbox have been running a sale for all the old activision games specifically all the old cods so all the old cods have been on sale and funnily enough the sale ends literally like a day before the black ops 6 reveals in my eyes that can't really be a coincidence like why would they be putting it on sale right before this event i think it makes sense that they're putting it on sale all these games on sale because they're trying to get those last few sales they can it's a pretty good sale as well like it's a you know pretty good discounts i think they're doing it just to milk some last few sales before they bring it out for free on game pass so obviously it's not free but if you already have game pass then you'll pay no extra cost you'll be getting these old cods and it also makes sense in the way that it gives us something to play in the meantime while we're hyped up for black ops 6 it's like the same with gta 6 when the trailer for gta 6 came out players on gta 5 the player base went up big time and i think they're gonna really enable that to happen with black ops 6 if they let us play all the old cods and they might even make a lot of money from it too because even if they allow us to play the old cods for free on game pass think about all the people that might buy dlc you know still make the dlc paid for and then they might make a lot of money from that as well so yeah i think they will announce that at the game showcase i hope they do because i'm an xbox player and i'd be pretty happy with that it'd give me something to do while i'm waiting for black ops 6 that's about it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed and let's see if these leaks are actually valid we've got the game showcase very very soon so stay tuned for that the black ops 6 reveal was at 5 a.m for me i am not going to be awake at 5 a.m so i'm just going to watch it after the fact but if you guys are watching it live, hopefully it's good and I'll probably be talking about it afterwards. Alright, I'll leave you to it. Take care.